Greetings, dear friends. I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Ford Fusion. The paint quality is on average even higher than that of the Ford Focus, but the shape of the side parts will certainly play its role over time. The bevel of the lower part of the door catches all stones from under the wheels and this cannot be fixed even by the white mudguard. Corrosion mainly appears first on the tailgate, on doors and sand blasting places, but it is very rare, so the presence of obvious problems really speaks of bodywork in this area. It is more difficult to deal with the gradually emerging corrosion of the seams, which can be expected in the area of sills and underbody of the oldest cars. Fortunately, it is not yet found everywhere and is not striking. The wiring on this car is simple and hasn't yet lived up to the age of service problems. The main complaints are about various components, lock, the interior fan, contact groups of various switches. A more or less serious problem is an unsuccessful generator, it regularly breaks down, as in old Ford cars with 1.4 and 1.6 gasoline engines that are more than 5 to 6 years old. After repair, the part doesn't go so long, but there are quite decent options in well-known original spare parts. Electrics are demonstratively reliable, on machines for 3 to 5 years from the date of release, and then little by little various minor problems begin to creep out. Fortunately, there won't be any big troubles. This is not a BMW E65 or even a Volkswagen Tiguan. The simple design of the hangers made them quite reliable with one exception. Rear shock absorbers serve surprisingly little, and the restores of the front struts is far from being a record. The rear original shock absorbers greatly lose their efficiency after 30,000 km, and after 50, they will require replacement almost with a guarantee. The front ones can last up to 70-100,000, but usually they are changed after a decrease in performance at 50-70,000 km maximum. The reasons for such poor mileage of parts are in the high center of gravity and high carrying capacity with a low dead weight. And the shock seals are not very good either. In general, the suspension confirms once again that this is not a small jeep in front of you. The steering rack is more reliable than suspensions, the resource of the rack itself and the power steering pump is above 100-150,000 km. However, current racks are not uncommon and the power steering tubes are flowing more often than we would like. But there were at least a minimum of claims to the brakes is that their efficiency is too small for a full load of the machine. And it's not about the drums in the back, as one might think, they just honestly fulfill all the assigned tasks. Rather, the problem is the insufficient diameter of the disc in front. However, there was still one complaint to the drums. In practice, their resource turned out to be much less than the former owners obviously expect. The pads need to be changed regularly, at least once every 30,000 check the rest of the lining thickness. As if they rely on Russian maybe, then replacement brakes drum will require assembly and very expensive. There are some nuances here. First, the drives are a bit weak. As in the case of the brakes, total unification with a noticeably lighter Fiesta effect. Here it translates into a very moderate resource of CV joints. Even if the enters didn't break, there was still a chance that the drive parts will need to be replaced with runs of 120-150 thousand kilometers. The problem is usually indicated by an incomprehensible vibration that is not related to the wheels. Mechanical boxes do not have any special flows, except that the gearbox drive is prone to loosening. And also dual mass flywheel on diesel engines, which has appeared there since 2004, breaks down early for those who love sharp starts, often skid in winter on, or drag trailers, or those who have a blue body automatic transmission. A similar problem arises with the clutch disc for those who have a non-composite flywheel. The robots here are not too intelligent, they are far from modern VIZ, and this is not sarcasm. There is no uphill start assist system. If you do not help yourself with the hard brake, then you can simply get up on the hill with the engine stalling at the start. Well, the clutch resource is small and not only because of the wear of the linings, but also because of the drop in the stiffness of the torsional vibration damping springs. After 5 to 6 years of operation or after breathing, the actuators of the robot may also fail. Officially, they are not repairable and the replacement price is 160,000 rubles for the gearbox and clutch drive respectively. However, there are already craftsmen ready to bulkhead. I would not expect a 100% result, but you can postpone the replacement. The resource of the automatic transmission, which works with 1.6 engine, is very large even in our conditions. If you change the oil regularly and do not overheat it, then most likely it will outlive the car. Failure of the box is usually the result of very cross errors in operation, for example, a punctured gearbox crankcase or regulator overheating for those who have a diff engine and gearbox crankcase protection, and the car is often operated in harsh conditions, in snow, sand and mud. Since diesel engines were not officially supplied to us and their number is finishly small, we'll not consider them. There were complaints about the operation of small-sized diesel engines, and there were many of them, plus the history of the copies brought to from Europe is very vague. These motors are easier to avoid. 
but the gasoline engines of the Zetec SE series with a volume of 1.4 and 1.6 liters are already familiar from the Ford Focus and Volvo S40. These very reliable units have a large and predictable resource. In the version without phase shifters, they, have, they are as reliable as possible and by and large, do not have generic problems. On the Fusion, however, the design of the air filter is not the most successful, which quickly clogs the throttle, but otherwise these are all the same extremely successful motors. For the ump team's time, I will repeat that this car is not the CUV or a crossover and does like operation on dusty roads. The advice is simple, change the air filter as often as possible and make sure the filter cover is correctly installed. The timing resource is consistently high, the first replacement usually takes place at 90,000 km, but the accessory dry belt is here without a tensioner and its resource strongly depends on the operating conditions and the brand of the belt. Another problem is not the most successful engine thermostats. Most often the plastic housing of the thermostat fails, the axle stop is deformed and it loses its tightness. And in case of overheating of the motor, the plane of the thermostat housing is warped and it begins to leak. Unfortunately for replacement, you need to remove the generator, which means cut off the trial belt of additional units. The work is not too easy and the price of the thermostat with the housing bites. All other troubles of the motor are due to cooling or the wiring of the engine compartment. The wiring suffers from dirt. On the fusion, the enters of the engine compartment are not very successful. In an amicable way, you need to do the prevention of connectors every few years. And the radiators and hoses are flimsy, the plastic plugs dry out and begin to let the antifreeze through, and the pipes break easily. In general, you need to follow. On this information about the problems of Ford Fusion is exhausted. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.